This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. I like to share tools that are fast and they're powerful. So one of the things that I want to show you is how you can format using the Gantt chart wizard. Now the Gantt chart wizard came from previous versions and for some reason Microsoft has said, ah, Project 2013 doesn't need it. But I really think that you'll like it. So I want to show it to you and then you can make the choice. So here we are in our project and I need to add the Gantt chart wizard somewhere. I can add it here to my ribbon if I'd like to or I could add it to my Quick Access Toolbar. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the Quick Access Toolbar. So adding it to the Quick Access Toolbar, I simply choose More Commands. And when I go into More Commands, now I'm backstage inside of Project Options on the Quick Access Toolbar. And this command is found under Commands Not in the Ribbon. So Commands Not in the rib Ribbon, and then it's called the Gantt Chart Wizard. So we'll hit the G on the keyboard to take me down. To, oh, that's the first one. Taking me down to the G's, there's the Gantt chart wizard, and I will click on Add. Oh, and because I had Save selected, it saved it as the second button. I just want to move it down to the end, and then we'll say OK. Now, there's my Gantt chart wizard. If you're a person who would, refer, would prefer excuse me, to have it in your ribbon, you can add it to the ribbon. So here, I want to put it on the Format tab. You can right-click and say, well, customize the ribbon, not the Quick Access Toolbar. And then the only difference here is that before you put it on the ribbon, you have to tell your ribbon that you want a new group. And so I want the um, task, resource, project, project, view. Let's put it on the, let's put it on the view tab. Okay, so the view tab, we'll put it out here at the end of macros. So I simply want to say, sorry, I have to select view. I want a new group. Or you know, better thought, maybe I just want to make my own new tab. See, if I want to put it on an existing group, I have to determine where I want to place it. Or, hmm, let's just do our own. So I'll do a new tab. And what I want to call the new tab, I click on new tab and I rename it. Just, whoops, I'll just call it Sherry. And then I want to rename my group formatting. So now there's my new group, and you know how to get the wizard. You're going to say commands not in the ribbon, and you're going to click anywhere in the list and hit G for Gantt. There's Gantt chart, and make sure formatting is selected. With the Gantt chart wizard, I'll click add. So now my Gantt chart wizard is in the new group that I called formatting on the new tab that I named Sherry. So we'll go ahead and say OK to that. And see, here's my new tab. Oh, I probably should have done all caps like the other tabs have. So I could go back and edit that if I wanted to. And there's my button. Could I add more buttons here? Absolutely. You just add them the same way you added the Gantt chart wizard button. But now we have it either here or on our quick access toolbar. So whichever option you prefer, now you know how to place it in both places. Since it's nice and big here, let's click the Gantt chart wizard here. Now when you click on the Gantt chart wizard, it says, hey, let's get started. Basically the welcome screen and then next. And it's basically three choices of how would you like your Gantt chart to look, and it gives you a sample. Would you like standard? Would you like the critical path to show? Would you like the baseline to show? You choose, it's totally up to you. Or is there something else that you would like? And there are all types of options that are out here. So you can go explore what someone else has created. Now the benefit here is you don't have to take the time to do all of the designing. So you decide what you like. I'm gonna go ahead and choose standard style one. I might change my mind, but for now, standard style one. And then I'm going to go back, or excuse me, go forward. So I click on next. Now, what would you like to show? This is in the Gantt bars. What would you like for your Gantt bars to show? And it gives you the sample resources with the dates attached, just the resources. See the date went away from the um, milestone. Do you want just the dates? And that would be the dates on everything and no resources, or do you just want an empty? You don't want anything there. Or would you like to custom track information. I just, I don't want anything. Sometimes it just gets too messy out there and so I want nothing. So you click next. Do you want to show the links? Most people do, but you can turn the links off. So if you don't want the links on there, you turn the links off and then you go to next and it says, hey, you're done. 
format it. So you choose format and give it a second to think, and then you have to exit the wizard. And so now what I've done is I have very quickly created a new look for my Gantt chart. I think that is the fastest way to format a Gantt chart. You can do it yourself manually, but gosh, why? When that one takes just moments to do. So it's a totally different look than I had before, a completely and totally different look. You then can go on and format on your own if you want to. So when you point to something on the bar and you go to the Format tab, you can use some formatting tools here to format. But we're not going to do that. We're going to let the Gantt Chart Wizard do it for us. So we'll choose Gantt Chart Wizard and we'll go through this again. We'll say Next. And if all I do is say Give Me Standard and click Finish and format it, look what you get. You get the defaults, except it changed the colors because the default colors in the format in the Gantt chart are different from the default colors that Project 2013 utilizes. So it is just a little bit different in here, but I truly love it. So one more time, Gantt chart wizard, next. This time, let's show the baseline. We'll go to next. I only want resources to show. We'll choose next. Do I want to show the lines? Sure, I'll leave the lines on this time and then format it. So now I have the same look that's on the screen, but a little different choices that I made because now my baseline shows as well. Would you agree that that's really nice? Well, what if though you want this bar here to change or you want something about your area here to change? Point to something that's just white. If you choose the weekends, you're gonna be formatting weekends, but you can click here with a double click, with a double click and then it will take you out, and here's one of everything. And this is the fastest way that you could format, so then you could change all of the pieces that the wizard starts you off with. Let me close, I'm not gonna do that right now. But would you agree, the Gantt chart wizard gives you a lot of formatting capabilities, especially this screen right here. When you do next and you say other. Give me some other styles. People don't use these. And so you can quickly create a project that has a look that other people are not using simply because they don't know how cool the Gantt Chart Wizard is and they don't know how to get it. So now you know both. You know how you can go get the Gantt Chart Wizard from behind the scenes and put it either on your quick access toolbar or on your ribbon and you know how you can use the Gantt Chart Wizard to create really great formats in literally seconds. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.